Today's reflection comes from my home in this time of COVID-19. And uh, that means if you hear any strange noises, it's probably just my Indian ringneck parrot trying to say hello. He was trying to say hello so much uh, when we started this that I had to banish him to the bedroom so that he wouldn't make too much noise. Before we start our reflection today, I'd love to ask you and remind you that it would really help us if you could subscribe to our YouTube, our, our Patreon, our Facebook, anything at all really, to help us get the support we need to get the funding to keep Accessible Globe TV running. Now back to our reflection. Today's reflection is another in the series on the National Disability Insurance Scheme in Australia, and this one is entitled, What is Family? Now, under the NDIS scheme, participants are not allowed to employ their family to perform services for them, as in being paid to perform services for them by the NDIS. Now, I understand the reason for this, because if it were allowed, it would be open to abuse from both sides. One, by the participants saying that their family is doing more hours and more work than they actually are, and getting paid for things that they haven't actually done, which is in effect uh, ripping off the NDIS scheme and the government. From the other side, you could have parents or family that are controlling the participant and making them say they were doing work when perhaps they weren't giving the appropriate care that the participant needed. So I truly understand why this, this, this uh, condition is in of not being able to employ family. And with that in mind, I decided to find out what the actual definition of family was for the NDIS. I went on to the NDIS website and couldn't find a clear definition and then continued with my internet search just trying to find a clear definition of what family was and I couldn't. So I rang my local area coordinator and I asked her, could you please explain to me what exactly is the definition of family under the NDIS? And she said, check the NDIS website. And I said, oh, I can't find one. So she said, well, look, I'll ask someone a little bit higher up the chain from me. And she did that and she got an email back and she sent it to me and she said, the answer about family is whoever people identify as family. Now, for me, this just didn't solve the problem at all. In a world where identity means so much now, where there's identity for gender, identity for culture, we're now being told that identi identity actually applies to family. So what if I didn't identify as my father, my, my actual father as my father? What if I was brought up by a grandfather? There's all sorts of identity issues here that really muddy the waters. So I still don't have a clear definition of what family is to the NDIS. And I think it's necessary to have these things really clear and solid so people can't actually do the wrong thing. Now, I may have this all wrong. And perhaps someone out there has a better idea than me of the, defini uh, the definition rather of family for the NDIS. If you do, please drop me a line at admin at accessibleglobe.tv and let me know what the actual definition is. That's my reflection for today. I'd like to thank the people who are supporting us, and that is Simple Solutions in Harvey Bay and Hello World Travel in Harvey Bay. We'll be back again soon with another five-minute reflection. Until then, stay happy and we'll see you soon.